All right, Megan, I'm gonna answer your question, but I had to introduce you to our new baby. <laughs> this is Squirrel. <laughs> this is our baby, my new business partner. So you asked a question, here you go, baby. You asked a question, what questions do you use to guide yourself in thinking through things? Do you use a journal prompts and who else time blocks thinking? This is about thinking time. So, um, so I'm gonna go directly at one of the questions you asked, which is what questions do you use to guide yourself? So I guess questions wouldn't be the right word for me, and I'm not saying that that's not the right thing to do. I'm saying that's not what I've done. So what I've done is, you know that I have a meditation practice. So when I go into thinking time, um, I wanna get my head right and I wanna be in the right mode. And how I do that is through uh, something that I learned through meditation. And I have certain things that I breathe in and certain things that I breathe out. And I usually do that on a repetition for a while. And that helps me bring me to where I need to be mentally. Um, so here's what I do. Um, to me, the in-breath is always about gratitude, okay? And the out-breath is always about service. It's about giving. Um, so I may breathe in, and I'm just gonna use a real life example, breathing in, I know that I am loved. Breathing out, I will share that love with others. Breathing in, I will know that I am loved. And breathing out, I will share that love with others. Now, depending what I'm going into and what I'm using this thinking time to meditate on or think about or work through or anything else like that is I tend to do better and I tend to believe that I bring better value and I become a better person if I go into it, number one, with the attitude of gratitude, with being gratitude is being both purposeful and intentional about being grateful. And that's, that's a big thing. I'm not just naturally grateful. I'm purposeful and intentional about being grateful, even if the things that I'm thinking through are tough and they're hard. Um, and I'm not enjoying them, but I'm going to find a way to look at things and come at it from a place of gratitude. And then when I confess that gratitude and um, that helps set my mindset, and then the other part of the mindset is that I'm gonna go into it giving back and, and going into service and to a service mode. Um, sometimes the service mode is just about get it done <laughs> and that's how I service people the best and I just go over the top and I push and I get done and other times that service mode leads me to thinking in this situation I need to settle down I need to stop being the pusher and I need to be more the listener and I need to be more the processor and I need to uh, let people help help self realize things so just so that you're aware of it and I know I, I bring it up a lot but uh, Ogmandino's uh, 10 scrolls uh, from the greatest salesman in the world is uh, the one that applies to me on this one is I will be the master of my emotions today. This is scroll number six. Uh, I will be the master of my emotions today, self-control. So how I create self-control is I start with gratitude and service. So breathing in, I know that I am loved. So I'm going to use a real life example where I needed some thinking time on how to work with my daughter when she was going through high school. We had two years there where both her and I were in a deep depression. And when you've got two people in the same household that are going through a deep depression, uh, communication may not be where it needs to be. So what I did is I would breathe in, breathing in, I know that Jordan loves me. Breathing out, I will make sure that Jordan knows that she is loved. Breathing in, I know that Jordan loves me. And breathing out, I will make sure that Jordan knows that she is loved. I would breathe in what I'm grateful for and I'd breathe out what I'm gonna give back. And that settled me down to the point that it helped me uh, walk into uh, the thinking situation that now I would think more clearly on how to deal with that situation. And now we've got the best relationship I could ever dream of and imagine, but it took me changing my process. It took me being able to change the way that I approach my thinking and my thinking time. And then that thinking time and breathing in the gratitude and out the service, what I was prepared to give back to that situation uh, based on my gratitude changed how I thought in a situation, but then it also 
changed who I was in every situation. So I'm using my family as an example there because in all honesty, I don't consider myself a different person in a work situation than I am in a family situation. So that is not, I think your question was, what questions do you use to guide yourself in a thinking through things? It's not a question. It's a gratitude and a service. Hope that helps.